So now that like the first holiday Thanksgiving's come and gone, um, how do you feel about it now? Well, I will say this. I personally don't um, necessarily need to celebrate the holiday on the holiday. I realize like trying to coordinate multiple family Thanksgivings is very difficult, especially mm -hmm. when no one wants to compromise. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think honestly, if people just started taking holidays a little less seriously, I understand why everybody wants to celebrate on the day of just because it's traditional. Mm -hmm. But I think it makes more sense. It's easier on some people if we just say, hey, instead of celebrating Thanksgiving on a Thursday because I have to go back to work on a Friday, why don't we just all uh, meet up on Saturday? Mm -hmm. A lot of people get stressed out during the holidays and then the day of they're like every, everyone's merry and jolly but then mm -hmm. the day after everyone's exhausted and beat up because they tried to make everything happen all within one day yeah yeah like how was the stress level this year compared to maybe past years honestly very minute it wasn't that stressful at all what what was the highlight of the holiday for you? Um, I would say, you know, the cooking of the food and everything, you know, but honestly, it seemed less special cooking this year because we've been doing so much cooking. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, it's sort of like the bar has been raised. So what do you got to do to raise the bar enough? Right. And there's only three of us. So you're, you're sort of limited in the number of dishes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> um, I made sweet potato pie. Um, that's my thing uh, on the holidays. Uh, usually I make, usually every year I forget what I do with the recipe. And so I find the original recipe, but not, not the adjusted recipe that makes it good. Um, and so I, I, last year, I think I made like a dozen pies to perfect the recipe over the, the experience. Um, but this year I found the recipe, made it perfect. Only, only made two. Um, he all the way ate both of them. <laughs> but, um, but he made pasta <laughs> and it was delicious. It was like, it was a pasta with a cream sauce and shrimp. It was, it was yummy. Um, it was just the two of us and, and that's fine. You know, it's, it, 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 it's, that's okay <clears throat> you know 2020 is just a, it's a waste of the year that's all it's not a big deal so how did how did thanksgiving end up comparing to what you would have normally done to be honest i felt more comfortable with her family than with my, my own family i always seem uh because i'm by myself I used to have to like basically invite myself to like my cousin's house or my aunt's house. Right. And it's really their family that's having the, the Thanksgiving. And I always felt like an outsider. Like I felt like a guest, not like part of the family. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, like an afterthought. Mm -hmm. But with Lena's family, uh, I know the boys, I know the three boys, and I know two of her sisters pretty well, and I know her parents. So, and they really go out of my way, out of their way to make me feel comfortable. Like I'll get up and I start washing the dishes and the mom will start yelling at me, don't do the dishes. Or the sister will come and take the uh, soap thing out of my hand and say, go sit down. I felt love, I guess in a nutshell. I felt love that day. I felt like I belonged. So I don't know what's what's gonna happen. I don't think they're gonna shut down, but like I feel like my my aunt normally hosts um Christmas and so she's still doing it. I feel more confident going on an airplane, like going on a trip than like taking off my mask and having dinner with people from like four different homes. I really come to the point in the last couple of years that our celebration of one day of Jesus' birth 
you know, we need to be doing that 365. Mm -hmm. And people don't. So I, I really kind of got away from a lot of celebration of just that day, especially spending a whole lot of money when you don't have it to spend. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, you know, I know parents do what they do. But I think people had got so far away from the point of Christmas. Mm -hmm. you know? They got whoa, wait. Ooh. You ever went to, um, you ever shopped on Black Friday? Looking back now, when you have less, you have you deal with each other more. Mm -hmm. When you have less, not that it, not I don't want nobody to have less, but but the thing that got away from Christmas is the excitement part about sharing each being in each other's life they're that's gone they don't people people just want to you know that one day of giving gifts but you got 365 days a year that you can give a gift to somebody you know mm -hmm. not a big gift or something and uh that's what that's why i said by the way i feel about christmas again yeah i mean i don't know i, I it just um I think sometimes when I see people going through so much and I really don't go through a lot. I mean, I go through stuff like more, but I've been so blessed. And uh, that's what I said about um, people that went away from caring about each other. Mm 